Hello everybody and welcome to another RPG Maker tutorial. Uh, I'll be looking at <coughs> uh, stuff to do with sprites and character customization, which is what I've been asked to do. Um, so, more importantly, um, importing sprites and such. Uh, so to start off with, we have we're just gonna. I think we're pretty much just gonna be on this um, screen, I think, and then uh, obviously be showing you different things uh, from there. So in terms of, oh wait, I'm on the wrong bit. That was silly of me. Uh, you have to use in order to import stuff. You need to use the date, not the database tool, the source resource manager. There we go. That's it. And. Uh, <coughs> As you may or may not be able to see, I think. Nope, they're not the right ones. I will find it eventually. Here we go. Uh, so it's under characters. Um, so stuff we will do. We'll do an easy uh, port over. Oop. Hmm. If I can actually remember where they are. All oh, right, they'll be in in here. Um, so let's say we want to put. Uh, Wilfred into this game for no other reason. He can be the main character's best friend. Uh, so there you go. Simple as that. Import the file over, and there you'll see you'll have him there. So that's the, I guess, a perfect transition over uh, from one that's been made from RPG Maker back into RPG Maker. Uh, so for example, this can be Van Berman. I mean Wilfred. Uh, but then of course they don't have the face as well, but that's easy as mm, wrong one. <sighs> Oops, <laughs> click on the wrong buttons. That's easy as uh, the same, pretty much same thing. Uh, so straight back into there, and then it's faces instead. Uh, and there you can see there it is. And then that's already. That's been imported, and then you just literally go on to your database again and whack in the new face. Um, so, in terms of, I'll show you a harder one in a second, but while I'm already on it, I might as well show you now. Uh, in terms of character customization, you've got uh, obviously the name, nickname. Uh, nickname comes up on the menu button, on the menu bit. You also got the classes. Uh, so I'll make a class, your initial level, your max level obviously uh, description yeah whatever, like once again that's just something for the uh, status, just an extra bonus thing you then obviously got your uh, equipment, starting equipment uh, but that also does depend on what class you have uh, unless you make a whole load of weapons, shields uh, and armour yourself and then just make them class free so anyone can use anything. Uh, you could pretty much just eliminate classes altogether but that it would take a few variables as well if you wanted people to be different. Uh, here you also have um, sort of like their uh, special features so if you maybe it's more for this bit's more future for more uh, uniqueness to the characters. So you might have two two characters that are both soldiers but one can have axes, or one can have a double-handed great sword, and the other one can't. Uh, and obviously, just basically things to give them a bit of a boost, uh, or you know, or an added weakness, whatever. Uh, notes: these can be for things like script calls and stuff, uh, but that's maybe not overly important when it comes to these guys too much. Uh, so you have the classes, so this is all linked in as well. So obviously, just as simple as making another one, picking it, and then, well, I'll make him a red knight. So then choose the XP curve, uh, which basically means how much experience before they level up. Whoops. So it does depend on what sort of uh, how long your game is and stuff, really. For that, it's just a bit of more trial and error that one. And then this allows, obviously, for which weapons they can have and which weapons they can't have, and how their main attributes 
level up with them as well. Uh, so, for example, you might have someone who's got who starts off with 900 health. Whoops! Whoa! Yeah, and of course you can do this <laughs> and just draw one yourself and pretend that you really know what you're going on about when you don't. Uh, so yeah, that will do. <laughs> And once again, script calls and notes and skills. So these are probably the most important things. Uh, you can learn skills, you can make skills become usable purely by weapons or whatever. Um, but the main, the way it's done vanilla-ly, vanilla -ly, vanilla way is by leveling up. So when they reach, when he reaches level 2, he can use Nightmare for no reason whatsoever and simple as that really and then there's your skills that the people can learn I'm not really sure where Nightmare is on there oh there it is so what does Nightmare do? puts all enemies to sleep and greatly lowers their magic defense right fair enough and obviously weapons and stuff but all that if you basically you're going to need to customize all of that in order to customize your characters because all of it's all in cumbersome so <clears throat> now we've got that out of the way uh, you then also do you have importing from a sheet, like off a website or off Google Images. So I've gone on Google Images, and we're going to just take this one to see if I can actually do it with this one. Uh, no doubt uh, some problems will occur, as always, but nevertheless we'll try. If not, I just have to edit it out and then... <laughs> do another one when I've actually uh, realised what I'm doing. Okay, so back into characters, import. Obviously, I saved it to the desktop, so that shouldn't be too difficult. There, in there. Okay. Now, this is the important bit. Um, what we've got to do is you've got to make sure that your characters are on the same colour background. And obviously, this one is green. So, you're just going to want to make these colours. It just basically takes these colours out. As you will see, it will make sense. Hopefully, if, it, if it's worked, it'll make sense. So back into the database and we'll change Terence. He looks a bit sinister. And right, well as you can see I've not yeah. These aren't lined up properly. Uh so as you can see they don't they don't look quite quite right on there. Um so you do need to make sure you get the dimensions right. It's probably because this is a VX one and not a VX ace one. I actually there shouldn't be too much difference. Um but yeah, you just gotta make sure you got it in the right Make sure you've got it the right. You mean blah, 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 blah. I'm getting confused now. Make sure you've got it in the right dimensions. There we go. And if not, I mean, I'm not sure what the dimensions are because I've not imported any. Um, you'd have to just look at the. You'd be able to find the dimensions online. It was they'll they'll tell you what uh, what they are. I'm not because I'm not actually currently sure. I won't be able to find out actually if I open up and have a look at my own. End of an age. Hmm. Oh, it's characters and else, right? So if you look at this character, um, and that should tell you how wide and long it is. Oh no! In properties, there we go. That'll do it. Oh, there we go. So a full one should be three eight four by two five six. 384 by 256 and this one is see uh, 292 uh, so the best way to do this would be to get this and I can't remember if it was 350 was it? hmm that seems to uh, be about right so stick it into paint and literally just stretch it out, I guess, or change it to. It's probably not going to work now, actually. How was it before? Is it two ninety? Uh, so yeah, you really need to, if you're modifying anything, make sure you're aware of uh, how much you need to modify it by. See, that doesn't look right now, but uh, I'll just have a go, see if it works. If not. The, the the theory is correct. I'm just not sure if uh, my application's been correct or not. 
Oh, it's in white now for whatever reason. Yeah, so close that. Database. Will it work? Right, no. I've done it wrong again. But <laughs> the point is you just need to make it the right dimensions and everything should work hunky-dory. Um, obviously, if you're importing from... I was importing from the ones I'd made using the, the character generator, then that's just easy as anything because it's already done. Um, but yeah, just make sure it's the right dimensions so that it gets recognized and it should be fine doing it that way. Just make sure you click to make the translucent and the transparent colors the ones around the edges and it should, fingers crossed, import perfectly. And uh, So apart from that, I don't really think there's much too much more to say about cust uh, character customization. Uh, the way, the only thing I can say is it takes a long time to make all these different changes to your weapons and your classes and stuff. Uh, but it is worth it in the end because it does give you uh, a lot of variation and makes the character a lot more unique, which is obviously why you would make your own sprites and import your own sprites. It's just a bit of an, an added bonus to that. Uh, so thank you very much for tuning in, guys. And if anyone does have any requests uh, for me to do, show them anything, uh, my knowledge is fairly limited, I have to say. It's all mainly trial and error and spending 60 hours to make a couple of hours worth of gameplay never mind <laughs> so you know I can only do what I can do but if you do have any questions I'll try my best to answer them as well as possible uh, thank you very much for tuning in and uh, see you next time goodbye